We're going to work a problem involving the lens maker formula and the problem is to find the focal length of the following lens where the index of refraction of the lens material is 1.5 and the lens is being used in air. So our lens is right here. It's at the intersection of these two circles. The radius of curvature for the front part of the lens is 5 centimeters and the radius of curvature for the back side of the lens is 10 centimeters and since the lens is being used in air and most lenses are um, the index of refraction for air as we know is 1 um, we're given that in for the material equals 1.5 and we know these two radiuses so we'll plug those into the lens maker formula and try to come up with a value here. The thing that's most confusing about these problems is to how to decide what the sign is and by sign I mean whether it's positive or negative for these two radiuses. So the way to think about it is we have light coming in here. So here's our light coming into the lens and the way to think about how to find the sign is if the light hits the surface of the lens before it gets to the center of the radius of curvature then that means a positive number for the radius. Okay, so let's just do let's just continue on with this to see what that means. So for R1, we said that the radius of curvature is five centimeters. And we'll just keep all these in centimeters because as long as you're consistent with your units, it doesn't matter what they really are, because there's no other values in here that we're going to be using that that make us keep these units in meters. So for the R1 lights coming in it hits the surface of the lens first then it gets to the center of curvature for the for that particular surface which is here it hits that second so that means that this is a positive sign for this particular radius for R2 which is 10 centimeters we've already the light has already passed through the center of curvature for that lens before it gets to the back side of the lens which is this part of the lens here this radius of curvature so that means that we're going to have a negative sign for that so now it's just a matter of plugging in these values so we know the lens maker formula is one over the focal length equals the index of refraction for the lens over n for air in this case minus 1 and we multiply that by 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2 is our formula. Well this part right here is pretty simple because all we're really doing is we're saying that um, the lens is the index of refraction for the lens is 1.5. The index of refraction of air is 1. That makes the math pretty easy. So we've got 1.5 over 1 minus 1 is going to give us 0.5. So we can just rewrite this as 1 over f equals 0.5 times the rest of the stuff here that we're going to find. So we have 5 centimeters, but it's a positive 5 centimeters. And because the sign applies to R1, you've got to keep in mind that 1, one over R1 is going to have the same sign as R1. So in this particular case, we've got 1 over 5 centimeters, and it's minus the 10 centimeters but the sign for the 10 centimeters is minus so it's 
minus 1 over 10 centimeters. Okay, since we have two negatives here, this is really 1 over 5 centimeters plus 1 over 10 centimeters. So we can put down 0.5 times 1 over 5 centimeters plus 1 over 10 centimeters is what we're looking for. We've got 0.5 times 1 over 5 centimeters plus 1 over 10 centimeters. Let's get the calculator out. I'm going to plug in 5 centimeters. Take the reciprocal of that and that gives me 0.2 we're going to add that to the reciprocal of 10 centimeters. So we're putting, plugging in 10, 1 over x, and we're adding those two things together. And that gives us 0.3. So 1 over f equals 0.5 times 0.3. which equals times 0 0.5, 0 0.15. And that's, remember, that's 1 over f. Now, if we want to find f, f equals 1 over 0 0.15. So if we go back to our calculator answer there and take the reciprocal of that, that gives us 6.67. And remember, our units are centimeters for this particular problem. So this is the answer we're looking for, f equals 6.67.